Hello. Hi, everyone. Everything coming through all right? Let's play some Isle of Cats. Hopefully. Morsey's not here just yet. He's in a huff. He might turn up. Hi, Rach. Hello. No chair in the way. Special delivery. Big time. Everyone? Hey, Monica, James, Steve. Let's uh, let's rescue some cats, right? We did some uh, cat rescuing in drawn form last week. Let's go for the the big old board game. So it was part of a Kickstarter altogether. Uh, there was the Explore and Draw game, which you can check out our playthrough for uh, from last week. Uh, and also for the main board game, I think there were some promo things and stuff that I haven't got, but the main things that I've got that you can get at retail are. The Kittens and Beasts expansion, which we're going to be playing with the modules out of that. Oh, my, he is here. I don't know if he'll stay. No, he's uh, he's hope he's hopeful for some goodies. He might be back. And also the boat pack, which is basically, I can show you this right now, it's just a load of player boards. So there are a load of reference cards to just show you, like, which each boat is. Or, you know, if it's got a special rule to tell you about, they're all double-sided as well. Or you can shuffle it up and choose your boats that way, rather than the standard ones that come in the base game. So yeah, you've got, you've got a load of uh, double-sided fold-out player boards that you can play with. And I have picked one at random for us to play with today. It's a bit of a more pointy boat. It's got a funny shape down this end. It's got an H-shaped room, a great big W-shaped. Uh, well, they're three different rooms, but hey, there's uh, there's some letters going on in this boat. Um, the, the, the bot's not working. Well, we can check on that. It'd be very frustrating if uh, I have to turn the... I have to activate the bot every time. But hey... That's what we got to do. we got to do it. Marzi, for some reason, refuses to go in box lids lately. It does say, yeah, in the... A lovely touch on Isle of Cats. It does say in the, in the box lid to the main game, cat setup. If you have a pet cat, you should place it here. He used to be like that all the time. Constantly in boxes and stuff. But he doesn't seem to bother much anymore. Unless it's like... Oh, the bot should be working. Uh... As I think all cats love, like, just plain, nondescript brown cardboard boxes filled with uh, noisy packing stuff, and he'll be straight in there. Uh, yeah, as far as I can see, what if I turn the robot off and then back on again? And then back on again. There you go. Uh, maybe it'll work now. I hope so. Just uh, checking the other microphone isn't on. So, yes. I'm playing with one of those boats from the boat pack. And then we have the Kittens and Beasts expansion, which has got three main modules in it. It's got kittens. There is a new board available here. You can see just underneath the main board, we've got an area where we can buy kittens. So when it comes time to choose um, cats, you could have kittens instead. It works in the same way. It's your turn choosing kittens. They take up a basket, but you can get up to two kittens in one basket. That's boards upside down, isn't it? I can read. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, they cost two for one kitten or five if you would like two kittens in one. Can't mix and match and have a cat and a kitten. And they get refilled straight away. They don't get thrown away at the end of a round. And uh, in the solo game, if the if your sister goes first, all the kittens are cleared as if uh, as if they've been taken. So if you're banking on one, get a speedy. So that's the kittens module. The beasts module is going to happen basically when we when we uh, fill the islands up. So normally in the solo game we would have four cats on this side, four cats on this side of the island, costing different amounts. In the first round only, we're only going to have kit have cats on this side we're going to have beasts on this side and the expansion does come with uh, three lovely colorful bags uh, the blue bag is just for events so we can go through that later the little green bag is for more kittens so we'll be drawing from them as and when we need and the red bag contains the beasts 
So we will get just four of these. They only come out at the start of the game and then affect uh, the scoring at the end. So these will be placed out. You can take them just like a cat. But uh, you can see if you cover treasures with them, they don't activate the treasure maps. You don't get um, treasures from them. But they want to be friends with cats. If you have a cat that is placed of the right colour that's placed next to the icon on the beast, uh, they make friends and you can put a beast token over like the cat and the beast. And every token you've basically got at the end, every friendship that has been made is worth five points to you. Now the drawback is in the solo game, your sister scores points for every friendship symbol you've got. So you'd better make use of it if you're going to get the beasts because uh, your sister's getting the points either way. And then we have events. So you can see on the island we've got these five event tiles here. There are, I think, 20 tiles, 15, 20 tiles in the game, all jumbled up. You have some action events on uh, round one and five that will change the rules of the game somehow. So this is if you cover a treasure map to get a treasure, get two treasures instead in round one. In the last round, we're only going to get 18 fish instead of 20 as our income, which is a shame. In the rounds in between, we can score points for things. So this is going to be two points for every lonely cat. That's a cat that is not touching another cat of the same color. This is choose a cat, get two points for every other cat that is touching it. Not diagonally, diagonally isn't adjacent in uh, this game. And this is pick a column, get two points for every different cat in that column. So we've got some opportunities to get points. In the solo game, our sister is going to score points for those as well. And she's going to score the left-hand number for the first event, the middle number for the second event, right-hand number for the right-hand event, which is going to be 6 plus 7 plus 10 points. So... Again, you better make use of this stuff, or if you're going to ignore it, make your points somewhere else. They're the three modules that come with it. There is also an extra module of um, lesson cards. The base game comes with three modules, and you want to play with three modules at a time. I think more if you're playing with uh, five or six players. But in the, in the base game, it comes with those three modules that you'll always use. So I've taken a module out and replaced it with the new module. So we might be seeing those lesson cards. We might not. There are also, as Monica says, there's, there's um, the promo box. I think there's promo boxes for the original Kickstarter for the base game as well that come with more uh, modules and things in there. And there's a, there's a beautiful um, like all-in-one storage solution, isn't there, with like a wooden... Um, insert like a custom made special isle of cats one oh it looks beautiful from what i've seen anyway but we haven't got that we have got kittens and beasts though and we're going to be trying our hardest so if you haven't seen the other playthrough that i did i did one with just the base game if you'd like to do that i actually did a, a multiplayer playthrough for the original prototype when it was on kickstarter i did a solo playthrough about a year ago so you can see the solo mode without any of these bells and whistles but yeah they're just extra tweaks it doesn't it says in the rules it doesn't necessarily make it more difficult the base game or the solo it's just more options it's more things to think about and you can mix these modules however you want you don't have to throw all three in in fact it recommends you know just put one in at a time and see how they go and then you can choose which ones you want to use in your future games it does say though that the events module does favor your sister a little bit so it might be advisable whatever difficulty you normally play however many advanced lessons you include include one or two fewer so i normally put one in just for normal difficulty i think we lost normal difficulty last time uh, but yeah since uh, normal play i normally play normal difficulty which has one advanced solo lesson I've just taken that out. So we're just going to have simple lessons and hope that uh, we can make some good points out of all of this. Uh, before we get started, I should say, actually, is the bot still not working? I don't know what's wrong there. Uh, try turning it on again. Refresh. Is it working? Do I have to say it to get it to start? Hang on. My keyboard is in an awkward position. Yeah, I'm kind of regretting not having that big box. It looks amazing. 
Like, I wonder if all this stuff is going to fit in my normal, like, base game box. We'll see, I guess. Uh, so yes, before we get started, everything that I do pretty much is supported by patreon.com forward slash slickerdrips. Well, the patrons on there. Actually, thank you very much, everyone, for making it possible for me to make videos on the times that I'm here. Which is basically all of the time that I'm not at my normal job. Uh, and... Yeah, I think that's all of the admin that I need to say. You can go to Kofi as well if you wouldn't like to sign up for a thing, or you would just rather go on Kofi, because it's nice to say. Right, shall we get started then? For the solo game, we can look at our sister over here, who's the, the solo opponent. We have the five colours in the game, which is all the colours that the cats can be. We reveal one at the start of the game, and then one at the end of each round. Your sister is going to score points for every cat you've taken of particular colours. So your sister scores five points for every cat you've taken of the first colour revealed, then four, three, two, one point each. So we know straight away, every blue cat we take, and for all intents and purposes, the kittens are cats, we are going to give our sister five points for every blue cat. So we don't want blue cats, essentially. We might want you know, one or something, but we don't want to fill our boat with them. We don't know the other colours, so we're, we're taking a chance with those. We also have these solo lessons. Our sister is going to score points at the end for the colours and these lessons. In the base game, that's all she scores. But she is going to score points for every beast cat that we... That we for every beast that we took, for every friendship symbol on them, and the points on those event tiles. In this particular game... Our sister is going to score five points for each colour of cat where you do not have at least one cat of that colour touching any treasure. So we want, basically, every different colour of cat touching some treasure. Which might be easy to do because we also want to get a lot of treasure. Ten points if you have less than nine treasures. Three points for every filled room, which kind of takes away... I don't know, our incentive for filling rooms up, if we zoom in on our boat, our points come from minus one point for every rat that's still visible. And there are other events, actually. I don't think uh, they will come out this game. We have these royal rats here uh, that uh, events might put on your boat. They go on, they cover things up, they can help you fill rooms, but they are worth minus three points at the end of the game. But they can help you fulfill lessons that want uh, rats. In a, in a twist of fate, you lose five points for every room that's not completed. So, you know, in this game, we're going to lose five for every room that's not full up. And you can see the you see the symbols and the walls are, you know, showing you where the rooms are. They're a bit different because, uh, yeah, I've, I've got the, the boat from the boat pack. So we are essentially scoring five points for every room that we fill up. But in this game... Our sister's getting three for everyone filled up, so it's less of an incentive, I guess, because we only earn two points per filled room, maybe. Uh, and then we score cat families. A family is uh, three adjacent cats of the same colour, three or more. Uh, remember, adjacent isn't diagonal. And you score these points for the size of your family. You can have multiple families of the same colour, but if you can combine them all together, you can get loads of points. And then your lessons. We're going to obtain cards throughout the game. Those cards are going to help us to get cats. They'll also have uh, Oshaks, special cats, and they will have some lessons in there. So, let's get going then. Round one. James, everything everything fits in the main box apart from a few odd bags of family cards. That's not too bad then, because I, I haven't even got all of the stuff. Because I haven't got the promos and things. So, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll have to, hopefully it'll all fit in. So I need beasts, don't I? On the right hand side. One, two, three, four. Just about fit on screen. And then from the standard discovery bag, we are going to reveal some cats and maybe some treasures. One, two, three, four. Okay, so a lot of uh, orange cats. We don't know, though. Orange cats could be worth four points each. For all we know. Okay, so that's what we've got to choose from there. 
And it's time then. We need our fish. So the game, of course, comes with fish tokens. It's the currency of the game. You're going to draft cards and then you're going to have to pay for the cards. But when when we get the opportunity, since since the man himself does not want to appear on camera, we will have uh, some Marty books. There may be. You know, I don't want to put any pressure on Rach, but there may be a Marty on the horizon, by the way. A new Marty. He might have a new occupation. So we've got 20 fish, 20 Marty books, and then we would have the drafting in a multiplayer game. You you um, you pick some cards from your hand and pass them along. In the solo game, it works a bit differently. Draw five cards, keep three of them, discard the other two. Draw five more cards, keep three of them, discard two. Draw one off the top of the deck, there's your hand of seven. So we can look at our cards in a minute. Hey, Michael, how's it going? We're all cool cats here. Oh, thanks, Steve. Steve's being the bot. I don't. I don't know what's wrong with it. For as, as far as um, I can tell, it should be working. All right, there. So let's have a look at the stuff that I can draft. So we should be able to see my hand a bit more closely here. So we've got the blue cards are lessons. These are private lessons. So in the main game, if you kept these, uh, they would just score you points. There are public lessons that would score everyone points in the main game. You can still play them in the solo game, but they're worth half of their usual points. Seven points if you have at least five fish at the end of the game. Nine points if you have exactly five green cats on your board. Could be possible. There's a big cat and there's a kitten available right now on the main board. Gain a permanent basket. They are beautiful because we have a permanent basket right now. Every basket you have is a cat that you can take, a cat that you can uh, draft every round. You can make baskets, they'll be on cards, or you can combine two of these broken baskets together to make a basket. But having permanent baskets, especially in round one, it's expensive, it's six fish, but that's a permanent basket for the rest of the game. That's quite tempting, isn't it, really? And at what point do we... Do we get those in, like, the treasure phase? I think we can just get them right now, right? Yeah, the anytime cards, the purple ones. Oh, Marty was so nearly in his space, but now he is uh, on Rach's desk. Looking angry at something. There's a lot of tail swishing going on. So I'm kind of feeling like... We don't have to play these cards as well, by the way. This is just the cards we want to keep. I'm kind of feeling like... That would be some baskets. I'm not too fussed about these lessons. Although, you know, you want points from somewhere. I think I'm going to discard those ones. So they're the first three that we've got. Two, three, four, five. And then draw a few more. You can enter the solo game by not going for the highest scoring colours your sister wants. Yeah, I think like you've, you've got to... Like, surely that's the intention, right? You've, you've got to avoid... Especially the, the card you see at the start of the game. we got to avoid those blue cats, haven't we? So we've got those cards kept got to keep three of these any two small treasures or pay a fish to take any two common treasures so our common treasures are a bit bigger i'm leaning towards that we want to have nine treasures or more so there would be two place your next cat or treasure anywhere on your boat your first cat can go anywhere from then on, you've got to build adjacent. So that would be a nice ability to have. A basket and a speed as well. We can add up, we can choose to play these cards. We can keep them for future rounds. But the more boots you have, the faster you'll go. It determines the turn order when we are drafting the cats. Take an Oshax, again, expensive, but bigger tiles, and you define the color that that cat is going to be. You define it when you take the Oshax. Nine points if you have the same number of rare and common treasures. Hmm. I mean, the rare treasures coming out is determined on the bag. We don't know if they're coming out. I think that would be a bit rough. Oshaks might end up being quite expensive. I'm kind of feeling a bit cheap. And then spend our money on the beasts or the cats. Yeah, I'm... Um, as much as I like Oshaks... I'm going to turn them down, and we get one just from the deck. When you next rescue a cat, you can rescue two cats instead. Oh, so you can take two turns in a row. 
you've still got to pay the cost and use a basket for each cat that you get. So I definitely want the round one permanent basket. I'm going for that. Because so you can you now determine which ones you're going to pay for. Small treasures, I'm pretty sure I want that. It only costs one as well. Next thing anywhere will be really nice. And then you've got separate things you can start building from. What if I, if I pay for all of these? What is that? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's not a lot of fish. For cats and things. But we don't have to play all of this stuff right now. Yeah, we don't have to use this card right away. It's an anytime card. I'm going to go for that. So I'm I'm leaving myself with just nine fish. It's not a lot, is it? Oh, yeah. Always love it when the Marty Cash is out. I've been playing Scythe with my Marty Cash. It's lovely. Marty, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? Come on, camera for everybody. Still just staring at the same spot. Right, so I think that's what we're keeping then. So we've picked our things. Discard anything you don't pay for. And then lesson cards. We haven't taken any, so we don't have to worry about that. And then rescue. So I think then for any time card, we will play our anytime card and get our basket. Why would we hang on to it? Get our permanent basket. So that's two cats we can basically get every time. So if we are willing to go second, we could hold on to all of these for a future round. I'm just thinking, playing more baskets, will we get to buy that many cats? I've only got nine fish. So if I get a beast and a cat, that's eight of my nine fish anyway. Maybe it's worth going second and not playing these. Or we could, it's, it would seem a shame to not get any beast. I can't afford two beasts. I think hang on to all of these. Get more cats later. I'm not going to play anything. Yeah, I think my money's already spoken for. I wouldn't want just one cat either. One kitten. Yeah, so let's go to my sister and see what she's taking. So the first solo basket card you draw tells you your sister's speed. So I could have tied, but no, I'm second. So she is going first in uh, turn order. And we need two basket cards. This is one, so we need to draw one more. We don't see what that is yet. So, sister's going first. She is taking cat seven, and they're numbered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, in the first round, you know, the, the cards don't say this because you know, it, it doesn't matter, uh, but it means cat or beast. So, sister is taking beast away, and then Oshak's number two, one, two. Just removing options from us. Then for me, I've got two baskets. I've got two opportunities to get things. I would kind of like, I think, a beast. Where would we put the beast? Well, we can put it anywhere. Which cat are we going to get? We're going to probably get a yellow cat, an orange cat. So we would want one of these beasts that's got that relationship token on it and we want treasure maps to be filled up as well don't we because we get two treasures for every one we cover over today but i don't think even if i'd done another basket i don't think we can cover up yellow and green the way that they've come out they're just a bit too far apart really aren't they Like, if we made those the two that we bought, no, we don't quite reach them. Uh, which order were they in? I think that order. So 
let's get a big beast. It's got three relationship, three potential relationship things. I would like to cover up a load of stuff. Beast on the end would help fill in the middle room. It is quite a nice shape, isn't it? And then we, we could go for... I probably still want to go for a yellow cat. It's just that that hasn't got the right... If I zoom in um, a bit more... It hasn't got a relationship with a orange cat. Whereas if I took either of these beasts, they're smaller, but we could potentially maximize them a bit more. Oh, I've got an idea. Right. Watch watch sister take this away. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this beast and put it. I'm just using this as a guide of where I'm gonna put things. Where do I want purple? I want purple to be all the way over here, though. Oh, dear. Oh, this, this could work okay. If we put... I'm not taking this cat just yet. If we put it like... Oh, but red's down here and blue's over here. Can I flip? We don't need that yellow to be all the way at the top. <laughs> I don't think these colours particularly... Not for my boat, anyway. I want purple to be there, I want green to be there, I want yellow to be there. You can't have it perfect, though. What if we just don't have a beast, then? Or you just concentrate on doing green for now? It's just you're so far away from all the other colours. You want to put cats of the same colour over these treasure maps because you get treasures. And in round one, because of our event, we get two treasures in this round. Already, like, selection one and the beasts are tripping me up. I'm going to go for that one. After Roman and Aryan for ages, I could take a different... You just might not be able to make all of the relationships, and that's okay. You can't do everything. You can try. It's five points for every relationship, every friendship that you make. So that's away from green and purple, so that's surely a terrible idea. This, at least, is like close to red now it's feasible that red might kind of carry along the bottom here and then blue's just got to come around here i'm going to do that i'm going to take the beast so the beast comes from the right side of the island it costs five fish and i'm going to pop it there because it can go anywhere because it's the first thing i'm placing okay so that takes up one of my baskets used and then over to Sister, what's she doing? She is taking cat two and one of the standard treasures. We don't need to worry about this. You only do that on the first solo card you draw. So she is taking cat one, two. I think that's the cat we wanted. And then she is taking one of these. There are only five of each of these common treasures out. So one has gone. And that's it. That's all she's doing. So if we did have more baskets, we would have free choice now. I just hope that now, yeah, I can still plant, I can still put these cats down and cover the treasure up. I think I might put that one like that. Yes, it's the left hand side of the island. It costs me three fish. Oh my god! Oh, oh, Bob, you make a great point. What if we just didn't? I suppose like it might have changed the decision. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking back. Great point. My anytime card could... I'm saying, like, I can't place a yellow and a green at, this, at the same time in this game. I can, 
because the sister didn't take this. I'm doing it because I've got this card. Place your next cat or treasure anywhere. I am going to forget about the beasts. I did want to get a beast because you know we're trying to show off the expansion things. But the first event, cover up these treasure maps. First thing could have been there. And I'm saving fish as well, I guess, because this only cost me three. Second basket. I'll play my anytime card, which I had definitely not forgotten about. Place your next cat or treasure anywhere. Oh, I do get a treasure, actually. For If I was to do that, I would get the two treasures, wouldn't I? So they're common treasures, and they would have to go adjacent to the cat when I took it. So why not try to get to these other areas? That would link you more to purple. This would get us closer to where the red needs to be. And then play my place your next cat anywhere for my second choice. And... So yeah, I've, I've already paid for this. I will put this right in there, filling up that gap. Although I don't particularly need to fill rooms up. And then we've covered up the, the green treasure map. And we can have two treasures. We could fill this room up right now. But I'm kind of thinking, I don't want to make like, I don't want to close everything off. I would like to reach like blue or something like that. Because you don't know what's coming. Although I don't want blue cats, do I? Which kind of thing you'd like get get big pieces though and like there's three oh we we want them to be next to cat colors though don't we we want at least we want at least one to be next to green because we it's sister scores five points for every color of cat that is not touching a treasure so we've done orange and green there they are both touching treasures and i get another treasure it can go anywhere. Let's have it covering all those rats up. Why not? There we go. I think. Great point, Bob. I think that is the thing to do. Could have had kittens, of course. But no, I'm going for that. So. We have rescued. Then treasures and Oshaks. Do I want to play my treasure card now? I, I, I think I could hang on to this. I suppose... The only thing is, the treasure you want might run out. But I think I'd like to hang on to it for at least another round. Try and get a handle on um, where other cats are going to go before I play that. Uh, but you play your treasures after we've done the rescuing of cats. Because I can keep these for a future round now. They're all um, bought and paid for. Well, like, the, the treasure maps that you place just need to be um, next to an existing tile, right? Do I need to put both treasures next to the cat that I placed down? Let's have a look. Let's get to the treasure map bit. Where's the treasure map bit? Tell me about treasure maps, please. Not the solo mode. Yeah, it's just um, it's just like normal placement. Like you're getting a treasure tile. It doesn't need to be next to the cat that. Did the treasure map. I just happened to put that one next to it. It's just uh, it has to be adjacent to a tile. So now I've got these kind of branching off points, although nothing particularly needs to be in this section of the boat. So it's not an amazing branching off point, but they're the colours that we had to work with. I suppose we could have used the basket and five fish to get two kittens instead. Because there was a red kitten and a purple kitten. Maybe moving things around a bit, we could have covered all of that up. But I won't do any more takebacks. There we go. That is just the first round. So reset your permanent baskets. Unfortunately, a lot of cats and beasts have been abandoned. So we didn't get one. I'm sorry, beasts. And then... We need to grab the discovery bag, whack the microphone with your watch, and then one, two, three, four. Nice mixture of colors. Oh, we need to, well, I'll reveal the color in a minute. One, two, three, four. I hope it's not red. 
the new color is going to be dun, 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 purple. Okay, so sister gets four points for every purple cat we place. It's actually a good um, incentive to fill up with treasures because they aren't activating any of these things apart from like a positive thing. We want nine treasures and I've got four right now. I've got a card that could get me two more. Okay, then let's um, get 20 fish. Twenty fish, and then let's do some uh, card drafting. Then one, two, three, four, five. So I'll keep my other cards like up here. We've already got a few things. So a broken basket and some boots. Eight points if you have exactly four orange and four purple cats. Well, purple's less exciting. Four purple cats would be sixteen points to my sister. So I don't feel like that's one to jump at. Uh, broken basket, but it is free. Nine points if you have exactly five treasures. We're going for more than that. Ten points if you have no visible rats. I think that's doable. I think they're the three. I don't know that I'm necessarily paying for those, but they're the three out of the five. Three, four, five cards. One, ta one take pack per ten minutes, let's say. Uh, then we have ooh, some good speed. If we really wanted something. Nine points if you have the fewest treasures. In a solo game, you need four or fewer. So that's no good. There's one gone. Take any rare treasure or two common treasures. That seems nice. We've kind of got all of our broken baskets matched up. We go for one that would get us a bit more speed. Maybe just the card that would get us speed. Although I'm not too fussed about that. And then our final card comes from the deck. Uh, Any time action, take a tile from the bag at random and immediately place it on your boat. Could be treasure. So I think we want that lesson. We want the treasure card. That's four fish right away. Six fish and there's a basket as well. Seven fish and there's another basket. I think these can go back. Although a tile from the bag could be... It could be a blue cat though. No, no, no. There we go. We are, we'll pay for those. Seven fish. I think. And then added to all of this stuff. Um, I, did, I did take 20. I took it all in fives. Because I've just paid seven. And I had 23. Yeah. So... We've got a fair bit of stuff now, paid for the things, and then it's going to be lessons. Got to play your lessons. I guess I'll play those on the, the other side of my player board. We want to cover up the rats, and if the royal rats were coming out, it would make a difference. Okay, we are getting two points this round. Well, I, I imagine it would be like during clean, cleanup of the round is the exact time in bit. Yeah, before, before you fill the fields with new tiles. Resolve the thing. Okay, so I've got... Two lonely cats. They're worth two points each. So I take, also new with the expansions, some points tokens. So I take four points. Not that great though, because sister is scoring six for that. At the start of next round, we want to have a particular cat surrounded by as many as possible. Two points each for that, and Sister is getting seven points for that. Ouch. Okay. So I've done that. That should have been done in the fill the fields bit when the just after the boat moved. So we don't need these basket cards anymore. It's time to play the green cards that we want. So I do have 16 fish this time. Again, we're not particularly sure on colours still, but there's there's yellow there. Get this family going, surrounded by a couple of kittens, and then it could potentially be next to three cats straight away to get six points from that. Put it on this side and try and connect it to the green family. 
I could have a particular cat that's next to four things, and then I would get eight points from that and get one more than my sister, and then <laughs> worry later on about space and things. So I'd, So in that case then, I could afford like four kittens. That would be two baskets and ten fish. And then I could afford two cats from this side. If I give myself four baskets, so one, two, three, and then four. Actually, when sister went first, she should have um, taken these kittens away because there are there are not that many kittens in the game either. I think there are twenty, and when they're gone, they're gone. So I might want to go first so that doesn't happen. It is only three boots, but <laughs> it's what I'm going to try. I could play the extra one, but I don't think I'll get the use out of the basket. I think that's all the baskets I need, because it's all I can really afford. Okay, let's see what Sister's doing. Speed 7! Oh, what a waste of my uh, cards. And she's getting three baskets. And so, she's going first. That's four kittens gone. So that's a load gone from the game. The colours still might work out. There's less variety in colours. And the colours I've already got. I was hoping, you know, to get different colours next to treasures to satisfy the, the stuff. Hey, let's, uh, let's work with what we've got. Okay. There's uh, Oshak's kittens. No, I don't think... Um... No, just four kittens of each colour. They, they might be a promo for the Kickstarter or something. Sounds cool though, I'd like some Oshak kittens. So they're taking cat six. Six. And rare three. There are no rare treasures out. They're not taking a rare treasure. Okay then. First cat. I'd like to get kittens while they're available. If we're going to try and get all the points from this, we're kind of concentrating all around here and not getting loads of different colours. And orange could be the next colour along. We don't know what red is, and we could you know, connect red up quite easily to this treasure. But that costs five. Let's go cheaper. Three. Yes, let's rescue this cat and pop it like that. So it's not... I do want to cover up cat um, rats as well, don't I? But that might just have to wait a bit. I know I did one, one. I know I did want one cat surrounded by as much as possible. But we'll work on that. So I get a treasure. I'm going to get another L treasure. There's three rats covered up. So I covered up the treasure map. Next up, is sister, going for cat three and Oshak's three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Gone. Okay, what now then? Because we can get we can get a purple cat, which is bad because it's worth four points. We can't actually get the purple cat touching this treasure map. Maybe we should put a treasure over here to get that to happen. But we don't necessarily need a purple cat to win the game. We would like, you know, she's going to get five points for every colour of cat that is not touching at least one treasure. So, it will be good to get one sooner or later. Blue is miles away from getting any treasure. We were going to go for loads of kittens, weren't we? So I've used one basket. Another basket then. We could just make the family bigger. Yeah, I'm going to go for two greens. So one basket can have two kittens. It costs five for two kittens, though. Or it only costs two if you had one kitten. I'm going to get both of the greens and hope that they aren't three points each. And go for 
there's two rats covered up. And finishing the room is still worth two points. Could just do it. There's nothing particularly else around here. And now we have a green family. So that's eight points. Three or more cats touching. And if we get the two yellow kittens, they could link up later on. And we pick this as the cat that's next to a load of things. Because it would be next to like four cats then. That could be all right. Okay. That's another basket used. I need to restock the kittens. There's a red and a blue available. And it's time for the last sister card. Taking cat one and a size two common treasure. And that's it. For sister this round, I've got a couple more things that I want. And it's basically going to have to be that purple cat which I don't want to be over here. I mean, I do, so I get more points out of this. Thing. We could just spend two and get a kitten, because I'm not going to have enough to get four more kittens. A kitten there, a basket and five fish is two more kittens. I was just going to take the yellows and put them like, like this, I think, so that they're all touching this green cat, because they can link up later on, I'm hoping, to the main family. Yeah. And then more kittens come out. So it would be just a basket with a kitten in. Oh, look at these tiny, tiny, tiny kittens available now. Again, purple and blue, bad for points. We don't know about red, orange and green. And red would just be on the way to a family. I could just have wasted the basket and save the three fish or we get that purple and at least it's touching a treasure it's just such a waste isn't it being off here on its own I've got nothing that can help me with that in particular Unless, you know, we put one of these kittens over here and then it's not helping for those points. We could then cover a rat up. I suppose that's something. I don't know what the best thing to do is here. I don't just want to buy the purple cat and have it nowhere because it's minus four points. Kind of. I can't afford the cats on that side because I've had too many kittens. Even though this cat would fit in really nicely over here. But no, I'm not allowed. Is one kitten worth it? I suppose the, ba the basket's just wasted if we don't use it. Yeah, let's let's go for a, just a kitten. Just one kitten, because I can't afford to and go towards filling this room up a little bit, maybe. Yeah, there we go. So the kitten gets replenished. There are only three more kittens in the bag. And these go away. Oh, do I want to do my treasure now? I think I'll do take any two small treasures. So the size one and two. Or I can pay a fish to take any two. So I can take the bigger ones. Now let's just go for the free option. 
small. I'm going to take size twos and we'll just try filling up this room a bit more. There go, in the middle there. Why not? So use that and I'll hang on to the other one. They'll go away. We've gotten rid of that. Played our treasures. Flip over your permanent baskets. And then we are going to fill the islands up. So, Vesh's boat's going to move. And we need to pick a cat and score two points for every other cat touching it. I'm going to pick this cat because it's got one, two, three, four cats touching it. So that's going to be eight points. Uh, but our sister is going to score seven points for that lesson having been out there. Next time we're going to pick a column and get two points for every cat in that column. Which at the moment, <laughs> not that great again. Hopefully we can make something of it. And then, one, two, three... Oh, a rare treasure has come out. So they go in a display of their own. I've got a card that can get me a rare treasure. Three, more rare treasure. Three, four. Okay, then. Right, so I need my 20 income. And we can get some cards. So I've still got two baskets and one speed worth of green cards. And then we've got either a rare or two common treasures. Got a purple, we could fill it in there and then a purple is touching a treasure. And we would get a treasure from doing that and it can hopefully cover up a rat in some way. Uh, probably not that one. Um, we do want a yellow to you know, connect these up and make them a big family. Which we can do like that, actually. That would be a nice one to have. And that's a size 4 family. I think of, you know, what, what we particularly want out of these. Let's see what cards we've got available. Or 5. And... So we've got Oshax for 5 fish. 15 points if the dining room is empty. Well, that's too late for that already. So there's one card we're not taking. Treasures, treasures. Probably don't need them both. Four speed would be nice. Oshax would be nice, especially because we can you know, define the colour. How many treasures have we got? Two, four, six, seven. We don't need both of these. Oh, the colour, thanks. I forgot all about the colour. Uh, the new colour is red, is worth three points each. Well, we've only got two of them. It would probably be worth getting another one, because at the moment, they're minus six points and they're getting no points for a family. If we got a third red, it would be another minus three points, but we would get eight points for the family. So probably worth having another red one. Right. So they're the, they're the first uh, three cards we're taking. Then, three, four, five more cards. Take four tiles from the bag and immediately place them in the fields. So more options. Broken basket is free. Two points per visible rat. Well, that would be worth ten points right now. But we've already got one that wants us to get rid of things. Three points per family. Could be worth having. Gain two fish for every rare treasure. Haven't really got a rare treasure, so I'm not taking that. Uh, and then we will take one from the deck. A basket and three speed. I would like the speed just because it means four kittens aren't getting cleared out. Although they are in the main kittens that I don't want. The red one I would, uh, I would take. I don't particularly need speed. So we've got one, two, three... Four baskets that we could have right away without having paid for anything. I think I want the Oshax. I might want the speed for later and might as well have the free broken basket. Three points per, fa per family is some points. So what's this right now? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I'll get rid of the others. 
So we've got 12 fish for cats. Hopefully. And we've got no... Oh, well, it depends on what we're playing. Are we playing speed? There's nothing that I... Des I do want that one. And that's probably going to be the first thing that sister takes. I don't think four speed's going to get at me, though. I think I want to play these. So that's one speed. We might as well go for it. Yeah, five speed. I'm not playing that one. The Oshaks can come later in the treasure and everything. Three points per family goes with my lessons. So we're ready. That's going to be worth six points. Nine points if we get a red as well. So there we go. Yeah, an Oshaks before the sister takes them all, I think is a good shout. So let's see. We are going at five speed then. Yeah. So. Sister is going. No speed. Did not need to spend all that. But four baskets. Uh, whoops, you didn't see that. Uh, oh, I'm turning him over. What am I turning him over for? So, he's going after me for a change. So I probably want this yellow. There. I do want to think about, you know, making a column have loads of cats in it. I'm going to take this one first. So there's a basket. Three fish to take a cat from that side. To lure a cat from that side of the island. Yeah, and then we've made our family. We've made our size four family of uh, yellows, which is 11 points we've just earned. Uh, sister is taking cat six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then... So the downside with the kittens is that um, I would like the red one. Just that blue is five points and we're not near the treasure. At least if I get the purple, it'll be next to the treasure. I think I will get kittens. So I'm not going to be able to afford four. Cats then, though. I might have forget those kittens. Another... The speed can just go away. Another basket on this purple cat. Let's take the treasure. Oh, yeah, they're taking a size one treasure as well. I'm going to take this purple. It leaves me with six. So I could get these two in theory, but I don't really want them. Put it over there to get me a treasure. Purple treasure map's there. It covers up... Oh, how, how, did, how haven't I had it in this configuration? I thought it couldn't cover up the rat. But there it is. And then... Oh, we can't actually place an L that would cover up all of those. Let me just get a nice L. Fill this room up maybe before the end. And purple is next to treasure now, so there's five points that sister won't score. Next card, though. Cat 4. Not taking from that side anyway. Rare 1. And that's that. So if I want to use both of my baskets, I could just get a kitten in a basket. And then hopefully it restocks with a colour that I want. And then get another single kitten. I suppose what I could do... I could have left the L there. What if I do a treasure like this? A long treasure covering up a rat and then if we if we got the blue kitten it would at least get us a treasure back we don't need the kitten hopefully the we we get this cat so yeah i'm, I'm getting this blue cat costs three I know it's five points, but it's touching a treasure. So there's five points we're not losing. So cancelling that out kind of, but it is earning me a treasure, which can hopefully... I did go first. I took the yellow from there, and then she went. And then I took a purple, and then she went. And now I'm taking a blue. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm first in this one. At least I'm getting some treasure, which is up in my treasure count a bit. I suppose let's get the last L and pop it here. That's covering up a mouse as well. Maybe we'll fill up this room. Sister again is taking cat six. Brilliant. So if it takes one that's a higher number than what's left, it just takes the end one. And then rare five. So no more rare treasure, unfortunately. I can't play my treasure cards yet. So it means that the only cat that I can afford, the green, this isn't going to help the point scoring next time. Sister's getting 10 points for that um, tile. Pick a column. Two points for every cat in that column. Best it's going to be is this one here that's like three. This isn't an ideal tile. It's leaving a gap, but you know, it's it's better than nothing, isn't it? I think we can really have it in an amazing position. Should have it like that. And then it's it's extending the green family. You do want multiple families though. There we go. There's extending the green family. There's three in a column now, which I think is the best that I can do. Kittens could have helped with that, but yeah, let's just hope that it's okay. Spent all my fish again. So then, and then you to permanent basket. They refresh. Cats go back. Oh, wait a minute. Sister still gets the last thing. Switch the cats around and then takes the only cat left. Okay, so there were no abandoned cats though this time. Um, we set up the new ones. The next colour is going to be orange is worth two points each. Got four of those. Pick a column. So I'm going to get six points, basically. But sister is getting ten. And then I get my 20 fish, technically at the start of the next round. And we need to fill up the islands again. And so, one. Oh, rare treasure. One, two, three, four. Okay, a lot of high points there. One, oh, rare treasure. Two, rare treasure. Three, oh, I don't know why I'm counting them out. Rare treasure, so much rare treasure. Here's where it all was. Oh, I've got my Oshax card, don't forget that. Yeah, we should... Take back city. Well, not, not necessarily a take back. We'll just have to hope one's still available. I didn't play it because now I know that green is worth the fewest points. So I kind of want to extend my green family. So I am kind of using knowledge that I gained there. I just forgot I had that Oshax uh, card. If you get identical rare treasure, it just stacks up. I'm running out of space because there's so much come out. Okay, so green is the cheapest in terms of sister getting points and could have got two small treasures while they were about i suppose there's nothing been revealed that affects that and maybe we'll get a lesson that's uh, how much rare treasure we've got that would be lovely one two three four five let's have a look at what we're getting round four 10 points if you have exactly 15 cats. Right now, I've got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that would only be three more cats for the rest of the game. I went fast to try and get the kittens, and I didn't take any kittens last time. I didn't take a red cat. Then we've got basket and some boots. Broken basket, broken basket, and a lot of boots. Two points for every rare treasure. I mean, I could get what? No, I haven't even got the card that gets me one anymore. Oh, I have. I've still got that. And now that's going to be kind of useful. I think... I don't think I want these lessons. I don't think they help me. Next five. More baskets. What's this? Take any rare treasure. That's probably good with what's out right now. And now the lesson that I got rid of is better. Draw two cards. You must pay the usual cost for any you keep. It's free, though. Gain a fish for every unique coloured cat on your boat. I have all five colours. So this essentially earns me three fish. 
pick a colour, get a point per cat of that colour touching the edge of your boat. There are four green cats right now touching the edge of my boat. It'd be hard to get more that weren't kittens unless we started another green family on this side. Haven't got rid of anything yet. This will only fish. I want this. Maybe we'll get some better cards. I'll get rid of the basket. What have we got here? We've got two baskets, yeah. Get rid of those. And then the final one from the top of the deck, it's a broken basket and a speed. So are we paying for all of these? This is going to earn me fish, so I definitely want that. Two, four, six, eight, nine. But I'm going to get three fish back. So I think that's okay, yeah. I'll just I'll just play that straight away. So it's costing me six fish, essentially. So I've got 14, which I think is higher than usual that I'm going in with. Spent my fish card. And could, why not, before we start, let's play this to get two cards. Are we going to keep them? Permanent basket for six. Not that exciting right now. Two fish for each rare treasure on your boat. Mm, no, I don't. I don't feel like I want those. Okay, that card cost me nothing though to have. Right. So what are we taking in? How many baskets do we want to take in? I want. Kind of want some speed. Are we going to get kittens? And if we get a family of purples, it kind of cancels out the points because the family is worth eight plus three. So I would get 11 points and they would earn 12. So it's not really worth it, actually. So we've got two baskets coming in. Three baskets and a bit of speed. What about that? Four baskets and some speed. And then we'll get some treasure and some Oshaks later. I think so. What is that? That's four speed. I think that sounds good to me. Should we... Oh, we find that out at the end of the... At the end of this round. We're in round four now. Yeah, I'll take four baskets. So what is sister taking? Okay, yeah, we, we should make that red family. That's going to make it worth it. Um, so, nine speed. Okay, we're going second here. And those kittens are gone. Which means all we have to choose from. Blue, yellow, green. Green would be nice, actually, and it would be touching the edge of the boat. Why didn't I take that card? I regret that. I regret everything. Okay, so, sister is taking cat four. And size three common treasure. What do I want? If I want kittens, I don't need to take them now. I need a red cat. It's the only one out. Let's get a red cat. There's three coins and... A basket and we could just having it go we could have it going all along the bottom it doesn't really help this room get complete it helps this room get complete though it's only two away from being complete then yeah why not there it goes then sis and we've got a family now sis is taking cat five and cat two so cheap cats disappear in here i don't want the blue cat do i so now we get into expensive territory. Pro I'm not going to be able to get three cats now. So, wasted that a little bit, especially because the speed didn't um, come off for me either. So what would we like the most? Kittens, because there's a green available. Even though it's worth two points, probably the big orange cat. Probably orange cat and two kittens. Uh, the kitten tiles 
so yeah, they take baskets just like normal, but you can take two kittens in a basket. If you just want one, it still takes up the whole basket, but it only costs you two. If you want two kittens in one basket, it costs you five. And they immediately replenish, but we've got no more left. So that's that's our lot. Hey, Matt, how's it going? Hey, we're playing Cascadia Solo. I hope you won. I love Isle of Cats. I have got another playthrough as well with just the base game on. Right, let's... Yeah, I, I want that orange cat. Because I don't want the purple. Everything else is kind of useless to me. Yeah, that's there's the plan. It's done. Okay, five fish and a basket is going to be this kind of beautifully fitting, if I say so myself, yellow cat. And there is a size three, four, five family. That's 15 points. Sister is taking cat two and rare two. And that's that. And so I am free to take kittens. Wasted the baskets a little bit. I'll take two kittens, yellow and a green. And I suppose we will try and fill in gaps in this room because it is at least, it's effectively two points for filling up a room. It takes away a minus five from us if we fill a room, but our sister does score three points. So it's not as good filling rooms up this particular solo game. So that's it. Okay then, so we, the unrescued cats, run off into the wilderness. Uh, we get our permanent baskets back. Vesh moves over. We are getting two fewer fish this uh, round. The final colour. Oh yeah, I, I get what you mean. We could have just um, flipped the last colour over because you know what it is. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's green. And then... What? Why have I got all of these tiles next to me? I think they were discards. So yeah, get your 18 fish then. Oh no! Before we see new things, we definitely want an Oshax, don't we? Is there an Oshax that fits into this tiny gap I've left? Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six is yellow. What if we just keep making this bigger? Make it a yellow cat. We've got all the colours touching treasure, haven't we? So that doesn't apply. So we might just want one to try and take up space in this room, especially since I think all the Oshaks are too big here to go green. They're all a bit <laughs> annoying for trying to fill this room up. There. Oh, that's not touching, though. That would be a bad idea. There, then. And we will say it's an orange cap. And then treasures. So we can take a rare treasure here. And we can take small treasures. So we could just take, you know, like... Any two small treasures or pay one. I did have one left over, didn't I? I'll pay one to take any two common treasures. Because I'll take the big one for here. And then... Just take a little one there, why not? We have still got a round left. And then I can take two rare treasures, or any two common treasures. I just keep playing these until I've... Uh, until I want to stop. And we've still got two rats visible as well.
I think two common two common treasures. There's a room completed and a room completed. I don't particularly want a large treasure because the shapes are a bit annoying. We could just go for rare treasure there. There's all of the rats covered up. There's the 10 points for no visible rats. And so we've just got that left over from previous rounds. Get everything played. And then we've got two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, Calico and Verdant are amazing solo. And Verdant, really loved Verdant when we played it. Did I have to solo in the prototype? I can't remember. We played it multiplayer. I loved it though. Uh, right, so a point per lesson card in front of you. That would be three. But maybe we'll get more lessons. 18 points if both bedrooms are empty. Well, it's a bit late for that. There's a discard. Nine points if you have exactly five orange. Nope. Too many. So there we go. Uh, we could draw three more cards. We've got a broken basket. We don't have to pay for those yet, though. It's just that no point having... Although I suppose the lessons in themselves, they are costing two fish but if you got that they would be worth an extra point each i don't think it's worth it we can surely get we should be seeing the cats actually i got so wrapped up in my treasure placing two three four five six seven eight okay so i want orange really i want these orange cats Four points per family of four or more. Well, I could get a red cat, and that would be a family of four or more. I've already got two families of four or more, so that would be an eight-point card. So surely that's a good lesson to have. Seven points if you have one or more of each colour cat touching the edge of your board. I do. Ooh. Score your third largest family twice. These are all great. My third largest family is red, so it would be worth eight points. And if I made it a size four, it would also be worth another four points for that. But I can't keep all of these cards. I think baskets. We don't need cats, technically. I think those three lessons are fantastic. For six fish as well. Yeah, I'll get rid of... I should have this card, shouldn't I? That's the card I've got from a previous round. And then from the deck, an Oshax. Which we could just say is yellow to keep that going. What size are we now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's 25 points. Extra five points for every um, every family member we keep adding to the yellow. So we are definitely buying these three lessons. So that's six fish. Fantastic um, draw there, I think. And, you know, depending on the lessons that come out, the modules you've mixed in, there's a ton of cards you don't see as well, of course, in solo. A point per lesson card in front of you, that would be the sixth lesson card in front of me. Uh, three points per family is from the new module. It seems worth it, doesn't it? I don't think drawing more cards is going to particularly help. I don't... Speed doesn't matter to me particularly. I, I kind of want these because they're worth five points each, I suppose. Then I wouldn't be able to extend the red family, but that might not be a terrible thing. 
it being worth an extra four points would kind of offset having that red. But I haven't got an fish already. Maybe it's better to just extend the yellow family by one and get the red. Because the third largest family will score twice. So it would go from 8 to 11, but then doubled. So that's six extra points. And it would be a size four family. So another four points, 10 points for the cost of giving sister three points. So yeah, that's seven points. That's worth more than extending the orange family anymore. So if we get those two cats, I do want to be speedy. And that's costing me six right now. The kitten's not going to help me in any way. I don't need baskets. Should I buy this cards for the speed? I can't afford the Oshaks then. So we'll just discard that. Do I want to just gamble and get three cards? I don't think so. I think I will just make some kind of attempt for the speed. My speed is four. Okay then. Sister's speed is one and has three baskets. So I am first and we know that she's taking cat five. So we are safe. We get the ones we need. Brilliant. So a basket. Three fish gets the red have to lean it up this way. Oh, maybe we can fill a room. I don't think we can. No. Oh, it's nowhere. It's no great loss, is it? And then sister comes in. One, two, three, four, five, and rare four. Then I want the yellow. And use that basket. I want to make sure that it's touching my orange family. And that costs me another three. And, oh, I'm a bit late, but look who's, look who's here. Configure video. Let's uh, try and get him on a little bit more. He sensed it, he must have smelled the fish. There we go. And our sister takes things, but I don't think that can affect us now, can it? It would matter for future rounds. And cat three. I suppose if I had treasures and stuff to spend, can't take that treasure anyway, though. So it is time for uh, Hunting for a pen. So, uh, the new, it does come with a new sheet, a new score sheet that tells you about um, families and uh, events and beasts and things like that. So, orange over there and not next to the others. It is, ne it is next to the others. This Oshak's orange. But it could like it could just go in a little bundle here. It makes no difference. It's it's a bit more cozy over there. Yeah, this is this is an orange Oshax. So blue families, I have nothing for blue families. Green families, one, two, three, four, five cats, which is gonna be fifteen points. Orange families, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is 30 points. I'm sorry, right in sideways is the only thing that feels normal. Zero. And then red families, one, two, three, four, which is 11 points. Rare treasures are worth three each. I got one rare treasure there. Three points. Lessons. Here we go. A point for every lesson card. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, thanks for joining us, Matt. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Then we've got four points for every family of four or more. 
we've got three families of four or more. So that's 12. Three points per family. Again, three, six, nine. Seven points if you have one or more of each colour touching the edge of your boat. Blue touching the edge, purple touching the edge, red touching the edge, orange and green all on the edge. So there is seven points. Score your third largest family twice. Third largest was 11 points, so another 11 there. And 10 points if you have no visible rats. Wouldn't it have been awful like if you just saw one rat I'd forgotten about at the very end here? I think we've got them all though. So another 10. There are no public lessons. I didn't take any beasts. I meant to. Events. I got 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 points from events. No rats visible. And I didn't complete the main room. <gasps> this little room here. Oh, I knew that, didn't I? I couldn't make this. Um... I couldn't unfortunately make this yet. Orange fit and count towards this. So I lose... 5, 10, 15, 20 points from incomplete rooms. So, all together we've got 45, 56, 59, 65, 77, 86, 93, 104, 114, 132, minus 20, 112, I think. Sister. I didn't take any beasts, so she gets no points for the beasts. For events, she gets six. I don't know if you can see, like, if this is clear enough. You can see there's tiny numbers at the bottom of each of these tiles. So gets six plus seven plus ten. So what is that? 23 points for events. Lessons. Five points for every colour of cat where you don't have at least one of them touching any treasure. Well, I've, I've got every colour. At least one blue is touching treasure. At least one purple. At least one orange, red, and green. So we are safe there. No points for that lesson. Three points for every filled room. Oh, how many rooms have I filled then? Um, uh, where's my... I wish I had the card now that reminded me where the rooms were. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. So I've filled up two rooms here and this room here at the bottom. So that is three rooms, three points for each is going to be nine points. Ten points if you have less than nine treasures. This is the sister score in these. I surely have more than that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It is treasure city over here. No points for that lesson. Okay. And then points for the colours. It's not families, but I'll write it in these sections. Five points for every blue. We've got one blue. And green, uh, purple, one of those, four points uh, for every purple. Red, three, six, nine, twelve. Orange, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. And then green, one, two, three, four, five. So altogether, surely this is less. Sister has 10, 26, 30, 42, 51, 74. I think we would have been safe. Turn the difficulty up a bit. But having said that, that last draft, the, the round five card drawing, oh, Vesh, by the way, is on the hand space, has arrived. Well, it's even a little stretch. That last lesson draw was the last four lessons, right? Like, say they hadn't come out and it would have just been baskets and things. I would maybe have gotten another cat, could have gotten a bigger family or something like that. But that was 21, 28, 37 points. That last draw, which I would have still won, actually, without those points. But who knows, I might have taken a cat that would have been worth points. Anyway, I'm pleased with that. It's only normal difficulty, and I did take the advice of the Expansions Rulebook. If you're playing with events, they favour the sister, so take play with one or two fewer advanced lessons. You only play with one in medium anyway, so I took one out. So it's easier with that, but I've got the excuse of Frank told me to. So this time at least, I think it was the other way around in the base game playthrough. I think I lost that one. 
This time around though, sister has got egg on her face because I am the best at herding cats in this particular instance anyway. But hey, maybe we'll be back here again. We've done uh, base game, we've done expansion with, uh, with the boat pack and we've done uh, some drawing, some explore and draw, rescuing cats as well. Maybe we'll get more stuff. Maybe there'll be more stuff uh, out for the game, but there are certainly promos and oh shacks kittens I'm hearing. Maybe we'll be back with some more Isle of Cats in the future though. I love this game though. Like it's, uh, it's, it's lovely. Like the, the solo game does a great job of like emulating the draft. Of course in the draft, you're thinking of what would be good for the other players that you're passing those things onto. But yeah, it's it's a beautiful solo mode. Maybe we should do the solo of Explorer and Draw at some point soon as well. There's just so little time. There's so many things. I've realized that April's running out and it's like, I would like to do some anniversary things next week and do the things in a few things in the vote. And then I realized that the April's over and I haven't done Hadrian's Wall this month. We've uh, we've got to cram things in. And then there's new stuff coming up and there's Kickstarters that need a practice in. We'll get there though, won't we? We always do. Uh, so if you'd like to help me keep making things, patreon.com forward slash slicker drips, having more time to do all of these things would make more things happen and they would be even better, I hope. Uh, uh, thank you for supporting me though or joining me. However, you have done things. Well done. Keep, keep doing them. Uh, I am going to be back tomorrow for a late stream. I think it's been a while since the last uh, evening stream at 8 p.m. BST. I am going to be live on here for Wayfarers of the South Tigris launching next week on Kickstarter. We are going to be doing a solo playthrough, which I've hopefully practiced enough for on Patreon right now. If you haven't seen the post, you can see the, the secret uh, stream that we did last Friday for a, a solo game of it. Hopefully going to do better. I'm not saying that I lost, but won an even higher score than last time I'm hoping for. And yeah, it'll be grand. And then on Friday, uh, there will be a playthrough up for you as well. So much stuff happening. And on Patreon, there's uh, there's a Mystic Veil nemesis. Finally, uh, I haven't forgotten all these months. It, it got some good votes and I want to play it. I played it. I just need to edit it. I filmed me playing it. <laughs> Thanks, Steve Boccolini. Uh, yes, the links are all in the chat if you would like to support us in any way. But thank you most of all for watching and helping me along. I don't know that I would have rescued this many cats without your tips and reminding me to, to do things that I should have been doing. It is time to go and do some other things now. So we will leave the Isle of Cats behind and I will hopefully see you tomorrow evening at 8. Or, you know, you can check out the, the channel for more things. There's hundreds of them. It's like 630, I think. Anyway, I'm going to go now, eventually. Oh, yes, simeeple.com. If you would like to, uh, the Steve has just put the link in the chat. If you'd like to check out merch and things, there are mugs available. There are shirts available. There's a cap available as well. Uh, there may be some things coming up, but hey, that depends on uh, when or if new Marty arrives. Thank you, though, for being here. And I will, honestly, say goodbye now. See you tomorrow, everyone. Thanks for being here. Bye, bye, bye.